Hey folks, Chris Varley with the Trade Idea Support and Education team here. Going to do a quick video here on our trading simulator. Uh, I will cover one part of this video <clears throat> with some of the chart trading that is actually an upcoming feature, but I thought it's soon to be released, let's say within the next three to four weeks uh, to the public. So I figured I'd cover it now in this video. So if you happen to stumble upon this video and you're wondering why don't I have this chart feature, uh, two, uh, two possible outcomes. One is that we haven't quite released it yet, or two, you haven't upgraded to that version of the software yet. You can always check the version of the software inside the uh, software on the menu bar and on our website on the download page. So uh, let's get right to it. I've just got a basic layout here. And the first place we're going to look here for the trading simulators, we go to new and look for brokerage plus here. And you want to go ahead and click that and that will open a window that looks something similar to what I have here with the pink X on it now. Uh, your default may look something different than mine. This is the way I like my default to look like for the trading simulator here. Uh, this is the same window that will connect to IBKR, E-Trade, and Alpaca. So once we have this open, you're going to see a menu bar on its own up here. <clears throat> and the first thing we would want to do to connect to the simulator is we're going to go to Brokers and we will select paper trading. We'll go ahead and connect that here. Uh, now, like with a real broker, it's possible to have more than one account, right? Uh, so we connect to a broker, and this would be true if we were with a live broker or with a simulator, we then connect the account. So down here, you can see it defaulted to the paper account. I have some other accounts that I play around with here for, for different things, and I could select those as well. Uh, we'll get to how to create one of those accounts in just a moment here, but we've got a few tabs that we want to go across here and tabs that I don't have out, but we'll go across those as well. Uh, so we've got the positions tab, and this is where a lot of the uh, manual discretionary trading can take place. Uh, you click buy and get this green here to indicate the buy on the shading here or sell, right? If we want to be on the sell side, and you see it goes this reddish pink here. Uh, if I go ahead and click on any of these stocks here up in the scan, we'll see it's going to preload into this here. So now I've got it set to the default to a buy. Click sell if I want. Let me pick the quantity here. Or I can fill it in myself. Am I going shares or dollars? What kind of order are we making? Market limit, stop, so on and so forth. You can see our bid, ask, last. If I go ahead and click on that, it'll actually fill the price in for me based on that. We've changed the price here if we're going limit got this in here if we were trying to fill pre or post market in different times that we could leave the time and force for the trade to sit out there and cancel on those limit orders <clears throat> we ever want to set a stop loss target anything like that in there uh, we can see i've got a position already here in the trading simulator um, something that i'm holding from another example that i've done in the past here we've got a number of different columns that are here that explain different datas and go ahead and right click and we can always look and change those columns we've got the master column on the right the selected and displayed column on the left and you'd go ahead and if you want to remove something click it on the left move it back to the right if you want to display something that's not there on the vice versa we click it on the right and move it over to the left just like that uh, go across some of the tabs real quick here in the strategies here uh, depending on when you download a software became a trade ideas user you may have some defaults in here those defaults don't really have much of any instruction in there the names don't really coincide with what they're actually doing they're just there and you know just exist like that so um, you can right click any one of those go into edit trading strategy make several edits uh, we covered these items in other videos here so I'm not going to go into big details about that uh, if we come across to want to make our own trading strategy we can right click new trading strategy it'll give us the same kind of thing here we can name the strategy so on and so forth uh, if we want the strategy to be a default chart straight trading strategy right if i go ahead and right click one of these and i say um save as default chart long uh it would then will bring up a buy up here for us i think i would have to go ahead and edit that trading account let's go ahead and do that real quick save okay now you can see that since it has the account and it's connected to the broker that we now have that there with that buy up there and the same thing if i want to default short right i click on the short strategy select as default short strategy uh, in the summary it gives us a summary of what's going on here accounts we can see these different accounts the buying power value so on and so forth these paper accounts i can create a new account by right clicking add new simulated account 
go ahead and change that starting value, so on and so forth. The accounts will always come with 4x margin, just like you would get in a broker. <clears throat> Whenever delete account, go ahead and right click, delete simulator trading account. Uh, in the orders tab, very important. We're trading, we're not sure if an order went through, it's not getting filled, it's hanging out there. We can see all those kinds of information. There's filters that are here for us. Executions tab will show us what has executed and a number of other items. Again, like many of these tabs here, columns, we can always go in here and add or take away columns that we want to. A few tabs that are not displaying here right now, just to go over real quick. Um, we have the strategies tab we talked about. There's the positions tab we talked about. Uh, trading summary tab, we can add that. We talked about orders, order entry. We can get a different order entry tab. There's a message tab here that we can add and this just has some different languaging in here. Uh, about things that are going on with maybe alert windows you have inside of brokerage plus connections so on and so forth on the orders uh, and that kind of rounds the bases on those there we could also add windows here <clears throat> we can take care of the symbol linking if we wanted to uh, there's what we call profit continuum that shows uh, where we lie right now on the trades accumulative uh, it's not something i prefer to have so you can see i leave mine off like that and the privacy mode that if you are connected to your broker uh, it would then put into a, uh, where the accounts are displayed, a scrambled name, number, set of letters there for you like that. Uh, we could save what we've done to the cloud here. And if any of you, these, you click on save as default, it just means that it's saving the columns and the way you have this set up as the default. It won't save the strategies here or anything like that. Anytime you make an edit within Brokerage Plus, whether you're doing it for live or simulator trading, you don't wanna go to file, save layout and save it as your default layout as part of your default layout because brokerage plus will load upon with a default layout and it's what we call a pinned window as you change channels or change layouts brokerage plus will stay there it will not change and so just to do that we go file save layout and we'll want to go ahead and click that default underscore layout right there and we press save and then anything that we changed within brokerage plus whether it be a strategy or any of the defaults uh, those would be covered there uh, just real fast, these are covered in other areas of the user guide, but just to make you aware, then if we go to Tools, Options, Brokerage Plus, there are some different things that we can change around here with presets on the buys and quick buttons and things like that. When I say quick buttons, I'm talking about these buttons that are over here, we can make some edits on those as well. It's covered in other sections of the user guide. Do the search, you can come right across it. should be fairly explanatory. I don't want to bog us down. Let's get back to uh, the trading simulator now. <clears throat> and work like any other broker here. So for example, I've got um, TSSI here, right? I decide I wanna trade this stock, right? I go ahead and I'm on the buy side and I could say I wanna take 100 shares, I wanna take it at market and press send and bang, it's gonna put me right in that. Uh, there's my um, 100 shares, my entry price, last price, you know, some items like that. Uh, I go ahead and click this position now and I could add a time stop to it. I could add a target. Uh, I could add a stop loss to it as well. And go ahead and add a time stop, add a stop order, add a position, or excuse me, add a stop order. So I could say, you know what? I want a uh, $13 stop on this. I'll press add. And I could also say maybe I want to add a target. Let's say I want to add uh, 13, 15, oops, excuse me, 13, 15 for the target. And we'll see those populate on the chart here for me. Uh, now, at the whoop, 1315 was below. Pardon me. <laughs> I wanted uh, 1415 on that. But you saw those populate there. Now, right now, I have this on our legacy charts. I want to bring up in our browser interface by right clicking the charts and using browser interface. Our browser charts display a lot more information if we like to have on there. We have the picture in picture charts that are there for us. And this gets us to some other features with the chart trading here that, like I said, these will be coming down the line. They're not available yet. Uh, hopefully by the time you're watching this, they will be released. If we come here and we go to use, enable, trade order entry, press OK. You're gonna see that this whole thing changes here. Now I get a trade ticket instead of these buy and sells over here. And it's much more intuitive how we do all this. We can change the account there and so on and so forth. We can hit this buy button here as well. And we can go in and we've got a number of instructions there. Uh, it should be fairly straightforward, just like you would with a broker, more than less as far as the order entry of that goes. Market and limit, so on and so forth. Go ahead and click, we can get rid of that. 
you click trade ticket that'll take that back out for you as well uh, so this is a, a chart feature for chart trading that'll be coming very shortly it's a lot more intuitive than creating the strategy here that's like that uh, on that chart trading if I were to decide to uh, go in market on this stock for example right here and go ahead and press submit oops I got to pick a share size right 100 shares there we go I'm gonna come in it's gonna populate for me in just a moment there there it is we can see that there I can then go ahead and I can add a stop and a target right here go ahead and click those and they auto populate for me and then I can go ahead and drag those up and down if I want from there uh, makes it very easy very handy to add those and to manage the trades afterwards uh, a lot less clicking and ciphering right so it just kind of quick auto populates those and now we can move things around from there afterwards uh, make it very easy on us in that regard uh, those are the ins and outs of the trading simulator uh, again you have these quick buttons over here don't go forgetting those on us uh, just real quick I want to flatten these positions I could take both click drag highlight flatten and I've exited both and it's closed out you come to the orders tab again you can see everything that's gone on here the cancellation of the orders from flattening so on and so forth uh, just always important check your orders make sure they cancel if you were you had some stops or targets laying out there and close a trade manually <clears throat> outside of those pre-done orders go ahead and just check your orders make sure that they close so you don't end up with a sell order triggering that you didn't really want especially in live trading make sure that you're taking care of that like that Again, that's the uh, ins and outs of the trading simulator on Brokerage Plus. If you have any questions, you always email us, info at trade-ideas.com. The live traders room that's on our site, trade-ideas.com. Live 12 p.m. Eastern Q&A every market day. You can find that on our education page on our site as well. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.